Our Aging 2010 Symposia today on Nutrition and Aging concluded with an excellent presentation by Dr. Gordon Jensen, who's the department head at the Penn State University. And Dr. Gordon is expert on obesity in aging, and he reminded us that it's only been in the last few years that the problem of obesity in older people has really been appreciated. He uh, uh, led us through the research that shows obesity is uh, linked to many chronic health problems, even in older people, such as diabetes, hypertension, and also importantly for older adults, being obese, especially frankly obese, which is a body mass index of 35 and above, can impair physical function. And physical function is um, being able to do our daily activities like walking, bathing, shopping, which become increasingly important as we age. What was important about Dr. Jensen's uh, presentation was he helped us think through uh, uh, where we're really at on on recommendations for weight loss for older people. Uh, what happens at any age is when we lose weight, of course our big goal is to lose fat, but often along with that uh, we can lose muscle. Older people already are losing muscle as just part of the nat natural aging process and so if we had them lose weight they might lose even more muscle. Um, also he shared some of the research where when older people lose weight they might also lose some of their bone mass. Of course we're all of us probably have a relative where they have um, had a bone fracture, maybe with a fall, and we know that um, the adverse consequences of having poor bone health.